autism and anxiety. Crap, 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 crap. Uh, I started it because a bunch of glitches were happening, and I died. This game is bullshit. I just did a Superman jump. Yeah, I tried to do that, but they weren't stacked high enough. So I guess he tried to do, like, the low alter one. I don't know. And I did, like, a really high jump, and it was funny. Okay. Basically, the physics fucked yeah, up and uh, shot him yeah, in Yeah, this is sky. one of those, like, you had to see it. Yeah. I, I'm sure people have seen shit like that from this game, so fuck it. Oh, God. This game has been ridiculed to death. They don't need our input. Mm. But no, it's just been other things, like, uh, when I was ganged on earlier, like, one guy was spinning around in circles, and they started shooting each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Epic edgy cutscene. Shadow the Hedgehog. I like how the rocket launcher is like... <laughs> on his arm. You know, I feel like, in some small way, Trent Reznor was responsible for this game. Who? Nine Inch Nails guy. No, I don't know what The dude... He is the kind of person who, if was capable, would actually do this shit. Ah. Uh. Like... No one else can be called as much of an edgy bastard than the Trent Reznor. His goddamn name is Trent Reznor. Okay. It's a parody on, like, I can't remember the first one, but it's something Razor. Like, if he was any sharper, he would be a goddamn, like, shaving cream. And Anyway, I like that band. They're the ones who did Hurt. I, I, know, I, know, yeah, like, I know who Nine Inch Nails are. I just don't know anything about any of the bands. I don't like the band. Yeah, they're not that good. But actually, the only song I like is her, and I prefer Johnny Cash's version. Everybody prefers Johnny Cash. And this is me hating country. All right. Except Johnny Cash. I like him. He's the only They did a couple songs, exactly. I can think I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I, like, I do like their version. I can yeah. listen to it. But I just prefer yeah. Johnny Cash. They've done a couple songs that are okay, but like, Marilyn Manson wishes he could be as sharp and edgy. Like, yeah, they're that bad. And they were bad before being edgy was mainstream, so. Is that how it works? Is that how you insult people? It's like, I was that before it was mainstream. Like, I, that seems to be a thing, and I don't get I it. I don't know if that's hipster or not. Like, I, I really don't get it. Uh, yeah. This is me being ignorant, of course. Right. I guess. I don't know anymore. Basically. I was listening to a 40-year-old man on a podcast who was like, the biggest difference between a hipster and a goth is a goth will just be upset, scream in their room, and play loud music. Hipsters will take everything they touch and turn it to shit. <laughs> and I was like, this is a man who has been around since, like, the fucking 80s and is a movie, like, professional. Like, he's not one of those goddamn critics. He's, like, an actual, like, movie buff who does I this know. for a I mean, that one makes sense because, like, there's, for instance, people that collect uh, rare antiques or something yeah. like that. And then, you know, people yeah. that do that, cool. Then hipsters do it, and they're like, oh, I'm doing it because, you know, I'm a hipster. You know, it's not mainstream. And they, you know, it's because my fedora commanded me. Well, kind of like me, you know. I'm a rider, you know. I grew up, you know, fighting, you know, selling drugs, crap like that. So, like, when people hear me talk, like, you're the ghetto hipster. You know, people. They, I'm not. This is more of the edgy thing. I'll explain my hipster part here in a minute. Well, yeah, that was your religious trial. No, you had to become a holy hipster in order to uh, to oh, ascend to another level. That's what you're talking about. I was like, the hell are you saying? Anyway, no. uh... Hey, so people are like, oh, you're edgy. Watch our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, they're like, you're edgy. I'm like, what? I was like, I'm just speaking. I'm just saying. I'm just telling the truth. I'm literally. Like, I, I usually just feel like I like to think my face is a little bit more rounded than that. I'm like, I don't see what you're talking about. I really don't. And I'm not trying to be even a smartass about it. I'm just like, I really do not see how this is edgy. And there's like, oh, because you're trying to talk like you murder people and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, I'm not saying that. I was like, I'm just talking. We I've just been... grew up in the streets. Yeah, more or less. So I was like, the hell? <laughs> the streets of suburban Chattanooga. Then again, this is an <laughs> anime page, mm -hmm. for God's sake. So like, you know, it's a bunch of people in front of their computers. Don't even, I, I mean, I watch anime and everything, and I'm talking about this. So don't get me wrong that there isn't people who watch anime and do thug shit. But that's what I'm just saying. I was like, this... The thugaboos. The, the the majority of them, of course, you know, probably never even seen a gun in their life. All right. So I'm like, okay. It, it tastes like burning. <laughs> 
So it's like, whatever. But anyways, like the hipster, the only hipster part of me that I can see is drawing. You know, I draw with the calligraphy pen. That's the only way I like my drawings. I like, you know, the... And it has to be engine. soaked in the blood of the <laughs> finest ink squids. Yeah, I do a calligraphy pen. And now that, you know, that's like a, a old, you know, a quote, quote, unschool, like old school pen that people would, you know, actually write letters with and everything. And that's what I used to draw. I keep one on me for if I ever feel like doodling. Oh, do, do. So if someone saw me with that said thing, you know, with that my said pen, and they'd be like, "Oh, you're a hipster," and I'm like, "No, no, I, I have it's this just for, a fancy pen. I have it for doodling." Well, no, it's, it's <laughs> I am the legendary hipster doodle. No, it's how the ink comes out. Um, I can make it like real thin lines, real thick lines. I can add shading. Yeah, I like how the ink comes out instead of me using a hundred different pens or a hundred different pencils or whatever. I can just use like that one. Drawings for pussies. So I'm, I'm like, that's my nah. taste in pen. To where like anyone else would be like, oh, you're a hipster. I'm like, no, no that that's not it. But that's what I'm saying. I'm and just I, like, that, that's why I'm actually like agree. I'm like, just that gonna, uh, makes sense. I can color. Yeah. Well, I'm not saying I'm good at drawing. I just said this is why. This is I just I'm doodle. I avoid drawing like the plague because I know I'm bad at it and I will. I cannot do the. Oh, if you just practice at it, you'll get better at it. It's yeah. like this is a man with serious tremors and no attention span. I will do never it. remember who you're talking to. Okay, well the tremor, the tremors part is what I meant by that. Yeah, I was like. I will never get good at drawing because I do not care. Well, <laughs> That's I, pretty much well, as far as I love goes. art. When I say art, I mean like actual art. Like my drawing, Smith. I was like, I wish I could draw like you. I'm like, please shut up. You're lying. And she was like, No, it's apparently some form of art that is probably stupid or something. Did I just shoot a piece of one of the burning things on the ground and it went flying? Who knows? Pretty sure it did. I'm gonna zoom in on that in the video, or I'm gonna try if I remember. I like how this fire is glitching yeah. the fuck out. Yeah, I do see it glitching though. Oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, please. Okay, thank you. I do enjoy the whole like the rap mix-up songs with like anime songs. Oh, like, oh yeah. Do, cool. Have you heard the one where they mixed a fucking Buster Rhyme song with the Persona Five theme? No. Oh, after this, we're People fucking love listening. Buster Rhymes and mixing I, anime themes for some reason. I've always loved Buster Rhymes. Oh, like, no, no, like, I didn't say it was a yeah. bad thing. I was like, just saying. Dude, it is that. It that is, seems to be popular. It's Remember? fucking sick. But I think it's called, it's it's his uh, Don't Touch Me song mixed with like the uh, thing. And I'm like, that is one of his better raps. I don't care for the beat on that particular song, but like, Buster Rhymes. You're talking about rhyme. rap still blows my mind. <laughs> You do it every now and then. Yeah. You and me do. I'm not a big rapper. I, I like rap fanatic. I'm just not. But like, when I like it, I fucking love it. And the hood gonna love it. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Please, please tell me I had to respawn at one point. I that, don't remember. That's, a, that's another one I heard. But, Very uh, good. The mashups. I like. I've gotten kind of addicted to like, mu like, uh, popular music mashups. Because mm. like, a they're just fucking great. Like the one with fucking Lucky Star and Little John. Oh yeah, I, that I've seen. That I one, fucking that one's old, but yeah, it's, yeah funny. it's even so. I fucking forced Samantha and Sarah while we were on the car ride back that one day. Like I was blaring <laughs> all that shit out of her fucking car and like bouncing everybody on the sides were looking at us like what the fuck. And they're like, oh my god, this is so embarrassing. I was like, you dragged me into this. I'm listening to whatever the fuck I want. And then th that was that day they were going on about whatever band it was that they were wanting me to listen to. And I was like, no, it's stupid. Now let me listen to Lucky Star Little John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I, I wasn't expecting this. I thought this part was easy. It was when I played it. <laughs> Whatever is the finale. I'll, hey, yeah. I'll just rush through that freaking beginning. That's what part. you did that time, and you fucking... No, 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 no. Because oh. the beginning is just like... Well, it's the military. Those guys are actually easy to take care of at first. But then, like, when you get into the building, it's just scientists. And then you see one scientist, like, bringing in military. They're like, oh, there's a crazy guy here. Oh, it starts being here. Okay. Yeah. That picture made him look like a weird mix between Nathan Explosion and The Undertaker. Oh, so we're, like, a hundred times better then. Cool, cool. I don't know why, like, I see execution and I just do it because I don't pay attention to my health. So right. I'm just kind of like, kill, get more health. If, I'm, if I'm low on health, if I'm not, then whatever. Yeah. Oh, thinking of those weird mashups, I saw something that was like, Kill a Kill is Sonic Adventure 2. 
And yeah, I was I've like, seen it. Yeah. And I was like, I had to like, I was like, okay, you've got me intrigued because I wanted to see what the point of, like, what they were getting at was. And I gotta say, they're right. Like, in all honesty, they're pretty much fucking spot on. There's a lot of, like, you know, subtle nuances, and Kill a Kill is just a better story, but it, it's the same fucking premise. Like, through and through. The only difference is a pair of clothing dies, mm -hmm. whereas Shadow dies. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, spoiler alert, but... Who the fuck cares about Sonic the Hedgehog? Not Sonic. Kill a kill. Oh. Who the fuck cares about Kill a Kill? I do. Isn't that like the least popular one out of all uh, their work? No, Which I kind know. of upset me. I know. Uh, there's this magic one. I forgot what it's called. Mm. It, it's not all that good. I've never. I mean, it's funny, but it's not all that good. How does it go? Like uh, a girl mom left to become a pirate, and yeah, she gets like a power suit or something. Huh. Yeah, like, no one's heard of it. It's alright, I mean, it's funny. Yeah. I just know they're the ones that did Fully Coley, and that's kind of what stuck with, like, why they stuck with me for so long. No, like, I love all their stuff, like, the Except one... Fully Coley, because you hate that shit. Well, honestly, I think I like it now. Alright. Yeah, because... that's a very, like, you kind of have to already be in an anime to appreciate show. And I know, like, back then, yeah, you really yeah. weren't. Yeah, and at the time, I was like, I liked anime, but it was, like, a certain... Ones I couldn't like all of. You are very picky on your. Oh yeah, I was extremely picky. Yeah, yeah I remember. Now that. I watch like everything. Oh yeah, I don't care. I keep telling JC he needs to watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He just won't do it. Dude, I don't like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I genuinely think he'll like it. Like uh, I'm not just saying that to fuck with him. It's just like I know his taste and that kind of thing. So like. I don't know. I he's, don't care for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure either, but I just see him liking that. He's kind of thrown me off a few times. Yeah, like when he fucking was like obsessed with Disgaea with us for a while. Well, uh, yeah, no, many people hated that anime. But anyways, no, not that. I enjoyed like, that. He enjoyed Disgaea, the anime, but he hates the video game. Yeah. Well, and, I mean, you can't blame people for not liking a game. So. Just saying, just saying. Yeah. For the audience sake, just saying. That was funny. Yeah. Anyway, there's like that. Uh, the biggest one was Squid Girl. You know, he came in. Yeah, he came out of nowhere, and I was like, "Man, you're gonna hate this anime." All right. I was like, you know, puns, all this crap. It's cutesy, blah blah blah. And he was dying laughing. Yeah. He's like, "Man, this show's freaking awesome." I was like, "Okay, I'm so confused." <laughs> JC, how do you TV? Yeah, I was like, I don't know what to show you. All right. Yeah, I know. He's kind of convinced we're doing stand-up comedy, and I'm like, in a sense, I can kind of see it, but like. Ever since that day you told him, like, we may or may not be going on tour Q with Keyword try. Q, yeah. That, that I said, and that's a huge, like, if. Like, that's I just think a maybe. when you were talking to him, the only thing that really stuck out with him was stand-up. So, like, he thinks that's what we're doing. Oh. So, like, you know how he is. Well, that, or maybe he is now starting to root for us. Because I kind of brought it up. I was like, yeah. dude, I was like, you don't actually understand how much, like, it hurt me. I was like, when I'm like, oh, you know, we're going to record... <laughs> And then you just kind of treat it as, we're treating this as, you know, yeah. whatever. Like a hobby. Like, we're not taking this seriously. Right. I sure as hell ain't, but I don't take anything serious. Like, so that's kind of part of my charm. Yeah, he's no, and I told him, I was like, I, I'm trying to, like, this is what I want. And I brought the stand-up thing, you know, with UBS and blah, blah. Right. You know, and that's way later down the road, though. No, oh, sure. Like, getting him on the show is mainly, like, the main part. Step one. Yeah, more Take like, over the world. Step two. Fuck, how do I run the world? <laughs> That would be my biggest problem. I cannot politic for the life of me. So I was like, and I, you know, I brought I that hearing. up. I brought that up, and mm -hmm. I think that might be a part of it. Is yeah. that he now wants? He's like, I feel like I need to support them yeah. because you know all the beef that happened. Oh yeah. And then the song "Dead Horse" starts playing, <laughs> and then fucking everything. <laughs> wow, yeah, that's funny. I was listening to the Joker not too long ago. I do like me, the Joker. Oh, yeah, no, I made some joke to Amanda, and she was like, why are you being so mean? I sent her that uh, Because I Can <laughs> song, and she just goes, really? I was like, yeah. yeah. Be honest, people. Does anyone still listen to ICP anymore? Oh, uh, man, they're kind of dying. I'm shocked they aren't already. 
Well, they're just screwing up, but mainly the fan base. Like, there's this yeah. quote unquote beef with them with uh, Magic Ninjas and Psychopathic, mm-hmm. and there's not really. I mean, there, there is tension going on because. Uh, but it's more blown up for hype. Young, no, like a uh, young wicked knocked up Jump Steady's oh, daughter. Yeah, I think you told me about this. Which is Violent J's brother. Right. But then again, I don't know what's all true, what's not. It's all drama crap. Right. It's the internet garbage. But apparently. Uh, he wasn't getting paid enough. He was, like, sleeping on couches. Then again, there's another argument where people were, like, saying, you know, he actually was getting paid, et cetera, et cetera. Once again, I don't know what's true and what's not. All right. But we do know that he cheated on his fiance, and then did that. Mm. Now, what everyone is assuming is that she was like, you can't hang, you know, be around them anymore. Right. And she, he was like, and dude, I, I'll, you can look it up. People can do it right now. You could look up commentary when they were talking about A and B, and at first they were. They were Juggalo rappers, the ones that, you know, the Joker makes fun of. Right. At first they were. Ex-Murder Boys were. But around the time God's Hand came out, that's when they started doing, like, their own thing. They weren't just trying to, like, rip off ICP or, you know, Horror Car. They, they were them. And, uh... Everyone is, is assuming... That uh, he got sick of being treated like shit. I found this picture of Shaggy Tudo flipping him off. <laughs> like, why? They're just right. they're talking crap about him. They're like in five years because uh, they give you a uh, hatchet chain if you sign. Right. They actually gave his to this kid that I've never heard of, but apparently is actually kind of big, but kind of not, and I'm not 100 percent sure. Anyways, whatever. And uh, an up and comer. Yeah, they gave his chain to him, kind of as a middle finger. Mm. Just thought so, it, was, it was funny. My aunt's kind of still like, you go ahead. But yeah, so people were assuming that he got, it was kind of a double thing. Like He got sick of being treated like crap. Right. And his girl was like, you know, you can't hang out with them anymore because you, know, you slept with one of them's daughter and she's right. knocked up. You know, I'll take you back, but you can't be with that label anymore. Yeah. And he's like, okay, well, I still want to make music, you know, for a living. You know, that's what I'm good at. And he is. Lord knows I can't get a real job. I mean, no, he's a great rapper. Yeah. So I'm like, okay. So, I mean, what's the next thing? Magic Ninja Entertainment Twisted. Like, right right now what's ruining ICP is they're focusing on the drama. Twisted, literally, it's, oh, yeah, man, we're doing, uh, this album's coming out this year. This album's coming out this year. Gmo Ski's dissing these guys. Business as usual for them. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, it's like, on the right side, we have ICP complaining about crap. And then on the left side, we have Twisted doing what we actually want. Yeah. Music. Well, yeah, no, what I was about to say is, like, my aunt was talking about it. She's like, what, what was that underground thing? Like, what's still popular these days? And she brought up, like, ICP, and I was like, that shit kind of died off years ago, like, in all honesty. Like, I mean, it's still talked about, but, like, most people do not give a fuck no, yeah, no. anymore. Like, oh, yeah, even no, people who were, like, juggalos or whatever. I mean, I am. Yeah, like... But, but no, like, uh... Like, you don't give a fuck about ICP. Mm, no. Nobody does. They're dead. They are fucking gone. I mean, like, it, it, they just won't I mean, shut I, up from the grave. I'm like, I do care to an extent, but I'm not, like... Yeah wholehearted about it. I don't, it's just kind of depressing, yeah. like, seeing them die this way. Yeah. I, I'm kind of, like, neutral on yeah, it, because I, I, I never know. gave a shit about ICP in the first place. Uh, it's just kind of depressing. It's like seeing, yeah. you know, a band you grew up listening to and failing horribly at everything. None of the bands I ever listened to fail. They just kind of die. Well, Poor you, David you, Bowie. You get my point. Kind of, in a way, figuratively. David Bowie. He didn't Congrats. die. He just transcended to alien status. He's out there singing to spacemen. He probably is, if that's a thing you can do. <laughs> like He's like, oh, fuck yeah, how do I sign up for the other world musical audition? That would be kind of interesting. Like, there's, like, tryouts and shit. And, like, instead of Valhalla, there's, like, a bard version of that. Where it's like, you can just play music and get drunk all day and get bitches. Get drunk, get bitches, and 72 virgins. That's the one I'll never understand. Why the fuck would you want to deal with 72 hot-headed virgin bitches? Uh, because back in that day, virgins were seen as, like, the most purest thing in the world. 
That just makes it even worse, because then they're ignorant about the world, and you get pissed off as soon as they start talking. But they never... That, that's actually one thing I actually was like, uh... I kind of get with the argument, is, a. Uh, but, or I get like the thing is that they it never really specifies you have to talk to them at all. Yeah. It's just you bang them and you can, can continuously bang them if you want. Yeah. And even then after a while you're just kinda like, eh, whatever. It's like it kinda just turned into a booty call in your mind at that point. It's yeah, like, you don't get me wrong, heaven sounds yeah. better. Because it's just like anything. All right. I'd get bored of heaven. I'd get sick of the fluffy clouds. I don't think I'd enjoy hell much more, but who knows? Maybe a pitchfork in the face every day would be interesting. Kind of feel like Biggie. 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 Biggie Smalls. Oh, yeah. Say his name three he- times in the mirror and he appears. I'd rather live in hell. He does appear three I can't times. remember that part in the song, and that's like one of my favorite parts in the As song. I was kind of new, like, eh, on Biggie. Yeah, he's talking, he's like, I wouldn't be able to ride or fuck bitches and shit in heaven. So he's like, I'd rather be in hell. <laughs> and be in the Satan mobile. Be like, you go through it and it just starts playing like heavy metal. And he's like, no! <laughs> actually, I think Rap Biggie, doesn't exist in hell. No, I think Biggie actually likes rock. Or liked rock. Yeah. Like, respected it. Yeah. But no, I could just see that being the thing. Is like, rap just doesn't exist because that's <laughs> his hell. Oh my god. You killed Tupac. You killed rap. <laughs> like even if that didn't happen like Satan's just like you know what eh, it's funny fuck it <laughs> I have no idea if that's true or not I do not care uh, yeah that's one of those like I mean what are we gonna do it's been, it's like that shit got taken to the grave literally oh yeah yeah you know, I forgot freaking Shug Daddy was even a part of it until I saw like a video not mm. too long ago right about one of his songs and I was like oh yeah I forgot that he was friends with Biggie and in the car with him when he was shot right do you think it was like his fucking somebody like you would never expect killed both of them as like a fucking coup de gras it was Andre oh. 3000 oh. he had to usurp the throne <laughs> The thing is, the people <laughs> outcast wasn't doing so well anymore. <laughs> well, what people tend to forget is that actually Tupac was shot. Oh yeah. Well, before he was actually killed. <clears throat> uh, that uh, that sounds stupid. He was shot and taken to the hospital, and then I think it was like two weeks later. Then he was shot and killed. Right. He was already attempted to be shot, and pe- and then the song I got shot. People don't know if it was assumed. The people assume that Biggie was the one who hired the hit for the first time. Right. And then after the second time it actually succeeded, they were like, okay, was Biggie part... I don't know. It was like the way it happened. Cause it's they, just a cause, fucking conspiracy. Because they caught the guy right. on the second one. So they were like, okay, was the first one Biggie? And then he failed. And they were just like, whatever. And then I don't remember if they caught the person the first one or not. But like right. then the second one... Like if it was just completely unrelated. Was, yeah, it was like just like... if it was fanaticism. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. like a Biggie fan. And he's like, I'm going to finish the job. Right. I mean, that's definitely possible. But uh, I like to think it was Kanye West. <laughs> he was like, no, good rap still exists. I cannot have a career while these people are still alive. So he killed Biggie, but he couldn't stop Dr. Dre because that's, like, impossible. Dr. Dre got shot, so he just treated himself on the spot. And then, like, Snoop Dogg is so high, bullets just kind of bounce off him. Ice Cube, who the fuck would fuck with Ice Cube? <laughs> like, nobody's that stupid. Chris Brown kind of killed his own career. <laughs> Oh yeah, apparently him and Soldier Boy are supposed to fight like in a boxing ring. I thought you were gonna say they were gonna fuck, and I was like, go on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's what you wanted to hear. No, I was just like, that is way too interesting. <laughs> like, where the fuck did that come from? And it was, they're supposed to fight. I don't know if it's MMA, like you know, the octagon, or it's supposed to be right. a boxing ring, and they're boxing. I don't know which one it is. All right. But I was just like. Okay, where did this come from? And then again, I was like, you know what? I don't even care. I was like, I'll watch it when it's on YouTube. Oh, figure it out. I just want to see two people I don't like All beat right. the hell out of each other. Soldier Bear Boy was the forgettable. Oh, I thought you were uh, I was trying to think. Was. I was like, he was one of those that didn't write his own songs. Yeah, and did that type of crap. And they weren't that good. No. Like, I mean, he, he's just kind of like a flash He's one of those, band. like, uh, popular, popularized the uh, dance craze in the 
uh, God, I wish he had, because I really hate that shit. No, no, yeah. 50 Cent, why did you go away? You were annoying, but at least you held tradition. I'm trying to think. Is he even still around? I mean, he's just, yeah, he's still alive. Well, I mean, like, you know, like, doing shit. I want to say he tried to fight someone not too long ago. I don't think he... I I know he's... uh, 50 Cent is bulletproof. I think he is still in the music business, but I do not think he... Maybe he's more in, like, the Dre side of things. Yeah, Yeah. I think he's more in the Dre side of things. I think he, like, does his own... He has, like, his own production label. He's got some headphones, and they're called uh, Thumps. Mm -hmm. Thumps by 50. Oh, my God. Dude, I would wear a pair of Thumps by 50. You kidding? They have Please, it. grenade. Just go over there. I don't want to pop my head out. Screw it. All right. It's like a... Oh, my God. What do you call it? <laughs> like, he's got some headphones that are just as shitty as Beats, but they are only 50 cents. Oh, that'd be hilarious. Like, and because it's 50 cent, and it does have a bit of recognition behind it. So, like, they do yeah, a and thousand times. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, because he still has a lot of recognition. Dre does too, but he's charging like what, two hundred, three hundred dollars for those things? Yeah. Imagine fifty cent headphones that are about as good as Beats, if not better. Dre would be out of business in that field. Uh, Dr. Dre actually does not own their rights to Beats anymore. Then Beats would be out of business because thumps are fifty cents. Yeah, because he and they're still as good. He, uh, whenever he... I don't remember if <laughs> An he, economical impossibility has happened. I don't remember if he sold the rights or it ran out of the company who makes them or what. When it happened, he finally released how much it cost to, for one pair to be made. In the, like, the normal $250, $300 brand. Wasn't it like 40 bucks, Something like that? It was $22 and something cents. Th- this is why I call people idiots. Yeah, and... Because, like, when Derek and JC and them got, like, got him, and I was like, you do know I can get, like, a pair of those, like, studio headphones, quote-unquote, yeah. for, like, 50 bucks. Oh, yeah. And I did. And they were better. Yeah. And we still use it, or I still use it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, so I'm like, yeah, um... Stop being stupid. Yeah. I'm like, well, then again, that's one I got is, like, studio, studio. I mean, the cord's right. long as freaking hell. There's no way I'm carrying it around, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, yeah, like, you'd but, have to wrap that bitch around your arm to take her out. But you can get some that are, like, shorter cords and sure. that you can go around. Just and, for, like, you know, personal use. Yeah. A little bit better. Well, that and if, like, your studio small. Right. So I'm like, yeah, just do that. And they're like, no, nah, man, get, get the beats, man. I heard them. They sound good. And I'm like, yeah, okay, go sound, listen to others. You, you will know. Yeah, like, I mean... They returned them. Yep. No, my, ar- my argument was valid. Oh, dude, like, anytime JC brings up headphones, I always give him shit okay. for it. Like, he, you know what? he knows he fucked up. I committed suicide that time. But I have Reese ones. So I did it on, like... Good, I'm going out on my terms. A good good reason for it. Does well, respawn just like save everything? Like you're basically where you are, just in a different spot. Yeah. Okay. So like none of the enemies are back and all that kind of thing. Nope. Okay. Cool. The only ones that are around are the ones that like are, you just didn't kill. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I didn't know how the respawn worked. I was like, what makes them good? But that's what makes them. Yeah, good. it doesn't restart the entire level. But yeah, what makes it easy is like the only hard part is they are across. But I'm right. saying like you have cover everywhere. Yeah. And that's why I said this part is easier to me. I wish I could regenerate health by snapping someone's <laughs> neck. That's such a weird mechanic. If it's the only one, I then then no, because I don't want to like break my leg and be like, oh crap. And then have to go and commit murder. <laughs> right. To where I'm like, man, I can go to the hospital, you know. And they can't like, do anything. Yeah, they can't it's do like anything. You sign the contract. Somebody has to die. Yeah. And he's like, well, fuck. <laughs> like, he gets reformed and all that <laughs> shit. So, like, he's like, I'm a changed man. Now my name is not lo- no longer Edgy McEdgeworth. McEdg- it's Happy Sunshine Christian Man. <laughs> Happy Sunshine Christian Man. The only and it's like, and then he like sprains his ankle, and he's like, "Oh, uh, he ends up just with like an insane amount of injuries." No, he just ends up with a lot of like minor inconveniences that are like kind of a problem, but like normally you could just let him heal on their own. Like he gets a burn on his arm, he like sprains his ankle, shit like that, and then 
he can't do anything about it because he has to kill people in order to fucking recover health. So he's just stuck being very annoyed for the rest of his life. That's what I'm saying. He's getting injured constantly. Yeah. So he's just like basically in a full body cast in like two years. Well, I don't know how many, like how easily he hurts himself, but just whatever. A guy like this who's running around with a fucking AK-47. Well, you said he was reformed, so he's not Even so, that's not going to say that you're like, that's your mentality of, I'm going to murder people. That's not saying, like, your body maneuvers, like, where you just kind of bump into walls and shit like that. That ain't going away just because you're not killing people. This no. motherfucker is Here's gonna... the end. Blew up the room. I'm actually, I'm not going to, this isn't an evil within me joke. Like, I'm being serious. This is the end. Oh, this is the end of the game? Yep, this is the end of the game. I told you this is the, like... We'll see like, you guys now. <laughs> yeah, just end it now. We do need to make everything in color. I forgot about that. We were gonna do that as a gag, but yeah, there's a know. mod for that. And there's yeah. apparently like a mod make that, the last thing like color. Apparently, there's a mod that makes it like a bad company, like the Battlefield bad company, and it like gives it being a military guy, and he just teleported, killed the dude. All right, password you can't even uh, four six six. Oh, there's six. not a zero. You know what? Very good. Fail. Really? What? Did you fuck up? You fucked up? I don't know. It was denied. I mean, this happens anyways. Because the actual password is 666. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it's the same thing. It's just, like, if you can get the password, right? Oh, 666 was actually the password? Yes, I'm not, I wasn't that, kidding. That's so stupid. Yeah, they did that on purpose. Who the fuck that runs a m- fucking nuclear power plant? <laughs> Our Lord Satan has provided us with the nuclear energy. Oh, yeah, we yeah, must yeah. appease him with the mock of the beast. Yeah, with only, like, three characters, like, really? You would think with something like this to overload the reactors, you know, you it would be like a three hundred character. <laughs> yeah, pilot. yeah. No, like not even joking. That would be something that would take like thirty minutes to enter. Yeah, like yeah, it'd, it'd have a, it'd have like four keys. Three yeah. people would have to have each individual key, <laughs> and then one key would be a hot key, and then the other key would be a cold key, and then Rex is somewhere underneath. And oh yeah, yeah. hot key, hot key, hot key, cold key. Cold key. Well, they did. Yeah, I actually got a truck out of that the first time. I was like, huh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I've done it. Welcome to one of the most boring, but at the same time, kind of satisfying games in the world. But not really. I am 100% just, checked out of this j- mess. Just go buy Grand Theft Auto. Their fucking team. It, it doesn't matter. It's called Destructive Creations. Yeah. These just, motherfuckers. Just buy whichever one. It, it doesn't matter. All the Grand Theft Autos. One, <laughs> two, three, whatever. And all of them. Just go better. play Postal. Or, yeah. Go whatever. play uh, Go play the new Hitman, which I've heard is good. Uh, yes, and it's extremely difficult. Uh, go play uh, uh, The Killing Floor, because it's, it's a better game than this piece of shit. Oh, dude. What, dude? The Killing Floor, especially 2, is amazing. I just it's said still in early The Killing access. Floor is a better game than this piece of shit. Where did I the... actually like this song at the end? I can't even hear it. But oh, I'm sure I'd enjoy it, but I can't hear it. So yeah, it's like heavy dark metal. You'd like it. And then fucking uh, oh, what's that? what's that one game you talk about a lot where you're silly? Manhunt. Manhunt's a better game than this. Ah, Manhunt's a better game. Manhunt's a better game than this. Uh, We need to play that. (laughs) That would be a fun one. One and two. Two is better, but yeah, one and two. Start off with one. Shadow the Edgehog is a better game than this, and that is a bad game. I've never played it, so I have to say I have nothing to say about it. A game where you have to go through. I'm not fucking kidding. If you want to beat okay, that game. Okay, okay, okay. Everyone has seen billions of people do Let's Plays of that game for one, so honestly, chance of us doing it is probably not. Pretty slim, happen. and I don't plan to. And I fucking... two, everyone knows, okay, because yeah. they've watched it. So no, this is for you, but. Okay, so we go. 
Next, <laughs> next time. Clint Westwood? That's his fucking name? Oh, yeah, the antagonist. What the Wait a minute. fuck? That motherfucker's name is Clint Westwood. Wasn't that the guy that you were just talking about? No, not at all. Oh. Okay, who's Clint Westwood? The fucking... That is that guy's name. Yeah, I know. I forgot. I forgot, that is it, such I forgot a, it tells you at the end. That is such a bullshit-ass, like... <laughs> to, I, just end the episode. I'm oh, yeah, so no. They're, actually, they're kind of funny, but I am going to end it. But yeah, it's like song was playing before a uh, truck dri- or train driver was stabbed in the head. <laughs> uh, some of it's funny. Anyways, <laughs> bye. Just bye. Cyanosis. Chaos. Thorson. Igoresso. Joseph G. D. Fletcher. Ed. The Con. Crossed. William Pages. M- laughing Cow. Not Laughing Cow. Nocturne. <laughs> Dark Swan. Hold the... Or no, that's a different name, I guess. I can't really tell this fucking thing. It's like the real names yeah. are then like... Ghouly. Yeah, like, Timu yeah. Hutala is the actual name. Okay. I'd be better off with Ghouly. Okay. Bye, everybody. I was back because that's that. Yeah. No thanks to anyone. Fuck you all except Lord Gavin. We're just going to slap this on at the end. And our fans. Fuck the fans. There are no and fans. And anyone who helped and supported us in this enormous effort... Uh, yeah, whatever. They just basically said fuck you. Unreal. Trademark. Or registered trademark. Okay, Epic so. Games, Inc. In the United States of America and elsewhere. Unreal R. Engine. Copyright 1998. 2016. Epic Games, Inc. All rights reserved. Hatred. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to be on the other side of the world.